Well, this poses an issue. We are attempting to leave on our second day of the trip and the gate is locked. So these first few days of riding, we had a myriad of flats, and they all happened uh, due to the, where the spoke comes through the rim. The, this is not the original rim. The original rim had no, uh, no bead here, and so the spokes poked up and poked holes in the, in the tubes on us. And so we had four, five, six, or seven flats in a row, all from the same reason of the spokes hitting the tube. Eventually we got that fixed, uh, putting duct, essentially duct tape on it. Apparently there's no duct tape in Thailand, but we found something that would work. So on the last flat tire we had on our day at Kai Knot, we got the flat tire fixed nice and quick and then we went to go put the wheel back on and we had a new issue. The bolt here stripped out and we could not get a replacement. We sent a uh, nice lady off on a mission to go find it. She spent over two hours trying to look her for one and was not able to find one. So we ended up uh, riding with a temporary replacement to the next town, Kai Not, where we were able to find a machinist who then put the wheel on his lathe, stripped down this thread, and made us a new nut so that now we can actually get on with our riding. So every morning we tried to leave probably between like 5 and 6 a.m. because it is so insanely hot here in Thailand. We really just wanted to beat the heat, but the cool part about it was we were riding past pretty much every morning in these little villages, monks walking along the street with, with like baskets, and they would stop and all the villagers would line up along the street and they would give them what looks like sticky rice, but basically they were giving them food. It's really encouraging to see that people are giving freely to the monks to help them live. And to the people that are giving, it makes them feel good because they are giving, giving away freely with expecting nothing in return. Yeah, so it's called almsgiving here in Thailand. Um, and I had heard, it's kind of funny because I heard about it being kind of like a tourist thing in certain cities to like go see these almsgiving ceremonies. But it happens everywhere and we were just riding past it like every morning, which was super cool.
today to ride on the Asia Highway all day, about 100 kilometers. And that's 62 miles for those of you from the U.S. Uh, but the Asia Highway, it was uh, expected to be quite nasty, high traffic, high noise, and it was nothing of the sort. After living in China for four years, commuting to work on an eight-lane superhighway, riding on a four-lane small one, nothing to worry about. So there's no concern about riding on the Asia Highway. Yeah, it really wasn't bad at all. I mean, it wasn't super interesting and it was a little bit loud, but like we never felt unsafe in any way at all. So if you ever end up on that road cycling, it's totally fine, I would say. I concur. Kampong Pet Historical Park, and we're gonna take a walk around. nobody here and it's cheap it is cheap it's 150 baht for both sections so there's like the ancient city section which is what we're in right now and then we're gonna get on our bike and ride around the city kind of and there's like a bunch of other temples kind of more spread out around there yeah indeed all right off to part two wait for me! 